Thanks. Um, it depends on the age group, really. In the younger age group, it tends to be more due to hemorrhoids. It could be fissures. It could be um, what we call inflammatory bowel disease. Um, as, as you go towards the age group of the uh, of 40 plus, it could be things like diverticular disease. Um, over the age of 40, you also have to be mindful of things like colonic polyps. And of course, colorectal cancers are always um, uh, something which you have to think about. The majority of times, it's not a sign of a serious medical condition. It's usually the commoner causes are things like hemorrhoids and diverticular disease. But it still needs to be properly investigated because um, rectal bleeding could be a sign of something serious and therefore without ruling out uh, anything serious, um, it sh shouldn't be taken lightly. So we, uh, we, we take a history from the patient, try and assess the type of bleeding, um, any as associated change in bowel pattern, any unexplained weight loss that goes with it. And then in clinic, we, we examine patients, we um, uh, do a rectal examination. Quite often we use a small telescope to have a look inside the rectum. And then further investigations often require something called a colonoscopy, which is a camera test, uh, which looks into the colon after preparing the colon. Um, and in the slightly elderly age group, we often do something called a virtual colonoscopy, which is a CT scan, uh, uh, which looks at the bowel. So the treatment options depend on what the underlying problem or the, or the cause for the rectal bleeding is. If it's something, something like hemorrhoids, then that can be treated by conservative measures, sometimes uh, uh, Interventions are required, like banding of hemorrhoids or injections or laser treatment. And in, in, the, in the extreme case, um, the hemorrhoids need to be removed. Um, if it's something like diverticular disease, then lifestyle management, dietary manipulation can help uh, with the symptoms. Um, but if it's something more uh, significant, like um, a colorectal cancer, then that has to be treated uh, depending on the stage of the disease, which could involve surgery or oncological treatment or a combination of both. Uh, again, it depends on what's causing the rectal bleeding. If it's hemorrhoids, then simple things like avoiding straining in the toilet would make a huge difference. So plenty of fiber on a, uh, in the diet on a daily basis, plenty of uh, fluids uh, taken orally every day, um, not straining in the toilet, spending uh, the least amount of time as possible sitting in the toilet without straining, um, only going to the toilet when there is a need to do so. All these little things will help uh, with the uh, uh, management of uh, hemorrhoids. Uh, likewise, for diverticular disease, uh, it tends to happen because of inadequate fiber in the diet, and therefore more fiber intake will reduce the risk of diverticular formation and therefore the symptoms that come from diverticular disease.